War. The cops are purists. There's no shortage of people who hate us. My sister and I, we've come to help with that. So guys, we have two doctors, the good guy and the bad yeah. guy. How do you cope with that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who, which is which? Yeah. That is, you tell us, David. Infor unfortunately, in most of the projects that I see you, you're the bad guy. So <laughs> <laughs> Not He's calling true. you out. <laughs> oh, you, you know, know it's uh, true. No, I know. We're, but I, I will say in all honesty, and, and Zachary can attest to this, that as actors, we never judge our characters. And that, you know, your function as an actor is to be the advocate for your character, to show your character's point of view. And of course, as a character, I can only understand the world the way that he understands the world. And so from his point of view, he's in search of, of knowledge and he's acquiring this knowledge in the way that is the best. And if you think about Victorian England, um, you think about the fact that you had these people who considered themselves at the top of the heap. As a white male, he would mm -hmm. have no problem considering it his privilege to go ahead and operate on these people who had less power. And um, women or somebody else are from a different organized group. And so that's a great reflection in a way of the world which we're in. Think of Masson's, you know, sort of power. Even think of Labinia Bidlow's power as a wealthy woman in that in that in that in that society. Everybody is acting out of their own point of view. And many of them could be considered evil, you know. Mm. Is Masson evil? But listen yeah. to this. I would buy it in a second. But there's one little thing. Your character yeah. has a lot of fun of hurting people. <laughs> Come on, he takes joy in his work. What's wrong with that? Joy in his work. He's a master, he's an artist. <laughs> Help me out. Your character is the one good who is always taking care of the patient, and we don't see a smile on his face when he has to gut somebody open. Then his character has this big smile on his face, like those rainbows and unicorns at the same moment. Well, if you really think about it, if you really deep it, there's a, if you look at uh, Horatio and his relationship with Amali, Horatio is married. There's a lot of people out there that would see a man stepping outside of his marriage as an evil thing, adultery. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't say necessarily that Horatio is an evil person, but he definitely is doing some wrong things. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but like that is, it's, it's hard to judge who's good and bad. I mean, you can see people have some bad tendencies, <coughs> Hague, <coughs> but, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> whether we can call them bad or villains. I don't know. Yeah, but Zachary, but there is one moment in the show and I won't, don't want to spoil it as much, but when you're tricked to help one of the bad guys and mm -hmm. you don't use this moment to, to, to make any, uh, uh, any regrets, you help them because you're a doctor. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is that your character would do the same? <laughs> you know, um, I, I, this tough thing about the show is that there are things that you don't know. And so um, all I'll say is that many of the, our characters have had previous um, uh, interactions. Mm. That's all I'll say. There were previous mm -hmm. lives. OK, guys. When <laughs> <laughs> When you read the script for the first time, what was your first thought? That's What's it. happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legit, WTF, yeah. <laughs> uh, my first thought is, was like, I'm reading the Victorian X-Men and I love it. Mm. I like how is it uh, made, how the world works in this show, how the characters are shaped and it all looks amazing. And Dennis, this is a question for you because your character right now for the fourth season that we saw, he's works underground in the dark. Mm -hmm. How did you like the scene that they made for you? Because it looks very creepy as I had I have to say. No, they're all great. You know, the, the style of the piece is so beautiful, whether it's the costumes or the props or the lighting, but even the music and the way that it is superimposed. I'm thinking of that great scene, um, you know, with a, showing a coffin lowering in the ground and showing men carrying things on their shoulders, the union workers at the docks at Masson's factory. That great 
juxtaposition of those two images and that the, the movie uh, the, the the series does that all the time with images and so i love my my underground stuff and i love i love the worlds that they're making um because they are gothic and horror horror filled um at the same time as being uh real in a strange way that great scene with malady and amalia in the power plant with those huge pumps going up and down you know that's the power of victorian england you know energy being produced and it's also a horrifying thing the scale of it is horrifying the inhumanity is horrifying and so i think it's, it's such a great stylistic world in that regard and this show also shows both sides the men that don't like changes and women that are fighting for their uh, for their rights and zahari it's a question for you because you're one of the few guys that is on the right side of the history what do you think how does it uh, renounce to the day and age that we are living right now um I, i think it resonates with the age we're in right now in in terms of just what you said you know fighting you know against uh well fighting for change you know um against uh, uh something that wants to deem themselves immovable objects be it, you know the monarchy or you know masson uh, who's a representative of great britain um and that 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 screams to exactly what's happening now in terms of you know um yeah you know the the rights in the world you know uh, with police brutality with uh you know just you know, women's safety you know, uh, it's it's a show that that resonates in every pocket of society um and the fight against change all right guys thank you very much our time is over thank you fingers crossed for the uh next uh, season and for your other projects dennis it was very nice to see you for the first time i'm a big fan thank you Hey, I just Thank I you. just worked with Malgo Zhimoshka. I just did really? a film with Malgo. Yeah, we just did a movie together called The Infinite Storm. Uh she's amazing and crazy and beautiful and wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, if yeah. I have a chance, I will tell you I tell her what she said. Thank you very much guys. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.